hi and welcome to my channel so if you are in the uk everywhere is not the same there are some places in the uk that are going to give you way more opportunities than other areas simply talking about geographical location where are you applying for jobs in the uk or where do you find yourself in the uk so in today's video i'm going to talk about the easiest places to get visa sponsorship in the UK and by default you're going to know the most difficult areas to get visa sponsorship in the UK if you're watching this for example and you're wanting to move to the UK which town or city would you like to move to please leave a comment in the comment section below so that I can say to you is this a good place for visa sponsorship generally speaking or not because like i've said everywhere is not the same if you're already in the uk also drop the place where you live in the uk to so the town or the city and we're going to be able to debate on whether it is a good place for opportunities or not and let me tell you when you're choosing a place to live in the uk it is not always about cheap cheap doesn't always mean best so you need to be very careful you need to be very strategic you need to be very smart when you're making your decisions so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber you already know that i appreciate your time and i do hope that you're implementing the things that i'm talking about because that is the whole point of these videos so if you haven't subscribed to this channel you do want to be part of this family don't be a stranger on here so please do hit that subscribe button so you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time this is a dedication this is a commitment that i'm making to you to bring you a video every single day on youtube at 10 a.m prompt uk time most importantly I do have a free new newsletter where I send information directly to your inbox about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or to switch. If you're already in this beautiful country, work from home jobs that you can do without any degree, any experience, full training often provided, and you can earn a lot more money than those jobs for which you've even trained and qualified. Also, side business ideas that you can start to, to be able to earn a lot more money, retire early, enjoy life before arthritis and other things actually set in and disturb you from enjoying your beautiful life. One thing as well, career progression in this beautiful country. For me, yes, it is good that you're in the UK right now or you're moving to the UK, but what next? What else happens to you once you're here? How do you progress in your career? Do you just get stuck in the same position for years until you retire? Broke? No. Career progression is key. So I also share information about all of that. So if you check the comment section below, you'll see a link to my newsletter. It will take you 20 seconds to join. You drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter. I send that info directly to your inbox so you never miss out. That's the point of all of this. So like I've said, name and email and you're part of the newsletter. You also find my personal contacts on there. There's my email. There's my WhatsApp number. Do feel free to get in contact with me. If there's anything that you're thinking, hmm, Melvis, I've got this personal question I want to ask you. You can use that. Otherwise, please leave all your questions in the comment section below and I'll join you in there. So we're talking about the easiest places to find visa sponsorship in the UK. Yes, that is a thing. And let me tell you, um, I'm going to go by exclusion and you need a little bit of geography here when it comes to the UK map, because that is really helpful. Um, my geography isn't perfect either. So I'll make you do the work. Yes, <laughs> that's the reality. So I'm going to start by telling you that everywhere is not the same. The places, first, let's talk about the worst places. The worst places to get visa sponsorship are the places with many universities, but worse still, the cheapest universities for international students. Look, if any university is advertising themselves as the cheapest for international students, by default, they're going to have so many students. When they have many international students, what happens? Each student is going to come with a dependent and then you end up with a small area and a high concentration of international students high concentration of dependents, everybody needing visa sponsorship, what do you think is going to happen to this area? By default, it is going to make this area a very high area that is in need of visa sponsorship. But actually, one thing is also going to happen. There's going to be a lot of 
labor available in this area, which means that if you're a company in this area, you're going to have so many workers. If you have many workers, are you struggling, therefore, with visa sponsorship? The reality of the fact is that no, you are not. And let me tell you, People give visa sponsorship to overseas candidates, as in those genuine legit UK employers, is because they don't have a choice. It's because they are struggling. It's because they are stuck with jobs and they don't have workers. If they had the workers, they would not be giving visa sponsorship. And for this reason, it is very difficult. It's way more challenging getting visa sponsorship in places in the UK that have a high concentration of students, a high concentration, most especially of international students and that's because everybody wants to work they want to work as much as possible and so because of that there's a lot of workers in the system and you know that even if you don't give visa sponsorship people are still going to do the work so if they're still going to do the work why offer visa sponsorship then you need to be very wise when you're choosing where to study one university may be say, I don't know, £2,000 more expensive than University B, but you may find that if you choose a university that's a little bit more expensive, long term, you're going to be better off, not only by the quality of your degree, in quotes, quality, because yes, the university that you study at matters as well, but also the quality of the area where you're going to live is going to be very different. So, I think you get the gist of what we're saying, right? I'm sure you do. And by the way, in case you're watching this and you're wondering, so my name's Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner here in the UK. You know, so I live in England. Um, I started my own journey as well as a carer in a nursing home. So I understand about starting from the bottom, making your way up to the top. Um, within five years qualifying, because I studied nursing in the UK as an international student. So all the things that I talk about in my videos, I have lived and experienced these things. I started from all of that to then studying in the UK and then working in the UK. So I've gone through all the stages that you can have as an immigrant in this country. And five years qualifying as a nurse, I was working as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing position. So I'm very passionate about career progression. And I have a career coaching program where I support nurses, carers, students, midwives, student nurses, people that are looking for free UK visa sponsorship opportunities. I support with career progression in the UK, securing those free visa sponsorship opportunities to move or to switch in the UK, um, work from home jobs that you can do from the comfort of your home to supplement your income as well. Um, you know, we're going to go through what are the best opportunities for you? How do you apply? Where do you apply? What is expected? What about the interview? What about your CV, most especially? How should you position yourself for success? We'll go through all of that to make sure that you are the best candidate. If you check the description box below or the about section of this channel, you see a link to my private coaching program. Once you join, then we get started with that tailored individualized guidance that is so worthy and that is going to be so life-changing for you for your family and for your UK journey. If you're a nurse back home or midwife and you're currently in the UK working as a carer, for example, or studying, I can guide you with that pathway to working as a nurse or midwife in the UK without alto OET. Because as you know, there's been many changes in recent times from the nursing and midwifery council. And so there are different pathways now that you can pursue in order to work as a nurse or midwife, obviously, in the UK. So, like I was saying, in terms of the best places, where, therefore, can they be? The truth is that if you look at the southeast of England and the southwest of England and kind of like the middle of the country, it's like the Midlands, those are the best places when it comes to looking for visa sponsorship. The reason why these places are good is because they're not the cheapest places to live and so the need, the demand, is a lot higher. But let me tell you, some of the most expensive places to live in the UK are the easiest places to get visa sponsorship. The reason for this is that they've got a very low concentration of students, for example, or of young people, which means that they've got mainly maybe like middle aged or elderly people. And because of that, they need for healthcare professionals, for example, or carers is very, very high in those areas. So if you're applying to one company, do not be surprised that in um, another branch, say in another city, they may not be offering visa sponsorship, but the same company in a different city may be massively recruiting 
with visa sponsorship. And these are some of the geographical differences that come that as a candidate, you need to understand these differences to help you position yourself for success, to help you get that targeted approach when it comes to applying for certain jobs. This works beautifully with people that are looking for career jobs. With many other jobs, for example, say for the NHS, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well. But when it comes to carer jobs, the geographical location is incredibly vital and it's going to play a really big role whether you get a job or not, as well as when you do get a job. So um, these are just some of the things that you need to think about when you're applying for those jobs. Yes, a place may be cheap, but cheap doesn't always mean good. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Watch other videos that I've done on this channel about similar topics just to give you some more information about what is expected. But if you need more guidance, you know what to do. And I'll see you in this video.